was a dismal end of the week here on Wall Street. The stocks took a big dive over worries we could be headed into a recession. The risks of a recession are on the rise. I would say this is the most confusing moment in U.S. economic history. I'm not seeing any kind of recession signs. There is a recession in our future. A top concern for Americans, will they lose their job? <laughs> that was fun. The truth is, a recession may sound bad, but it's not that bad. A recession is just a normal part of the cycle. And you may ask yourself, what cycle? Well, the economic one, of course. To understand a recession, we need to understand the economic cycle. The economic cycle is usually described in four stages. Expansion, peak, recession, drought or depression. While well, these stages can be shown to recur throughout history, their frequency and how big they are depends on a large number of economic variables, such as interest rates, employment, trade, monetary policies, tax policies, you name it. These factors vary quite a bit, causing the cycle to vary quite a lot as well. And since there are so many variables that they can take weeks or months to gather and compile, predicting the precise moments of peaks and droughts of the economic cycle is challenging and even impossible. There is a saying among economists that say that economists are able to predict 25 of the last three recessions. You get it? Predict 25? Only three? Not funny? Never mind. In essence, the economic cycle has four elements. The expansion, which features growth in most sectors, increasing employment, consumer spending and business investment, aka a thriving moment of happiness. The peak, which is that moment when the economy is at the best and it has been in a while. Then it continues to a contraction or recession associated with declines in most sectors, with inflation typically decreasing, but we'll talk about it later. And last but not least, a recessionary throughout, or crisis, if you want to call it like that. But today we will only be focusing on the recession. And trust me, it's not as bad as it sounds. See, for years and years, the news have provided us with fear. We are in a recession, the worst is yet to come. That's what they say. And even though those statements may hold some truth, it's just part of life. To understand this, we need to understand what a recession is. In economics, a recession is simply a business contraction when there is a general decline in economic activity. It is usually identified by two consecutive quarters of declining GDP. This means that in a, if in a given year there are two declines in GDP, then we are in a recession. Recessions usually bring drops in several other economic indicators. To understand which ones, we need to understand how recessions happen. First, you have a drop in real income. Real income is just your income adjusted for inflation and with social security and welfare payments removed. When real income falls, consumers cut back on purchases, lowering demand, which, in the end, lowers the wholesale retail sales. Declining demand for goods and services usually results in lower sales. 
which leads to a decrease in employment. Lower economic activity helps businesses to let off workers as well as increasing requests for unemployment insurance assistance. Sounds fancy, but just lower employment leads to a drop in manufacturing. And as manufacturing decreases, then there is a drop in the monthly GDP estimates. Something that is not reflecting in a recession is the behavior of the stock market. And this is because stock markets tend to be leading indicators, which means they're based on the anticipated earnings of public companies, meaning that the stock market may decline prior to an economic recession, as investors anticipate the downturn, which leads to what it is known as the bear market, which happens when the market declines by 20% or more over a period of at least two months. Now that we know how a recession happens, it's not all bad. In the end, it's part of the economic cycle and things will just get better. Just look at what happened. In 2008, in the Great Recession, this recession began in December 2007 and it lasted until June 2009. The supplied mortgage crisis and the widespread of use of derivatives triggered a bank credit crisis, which then spread for the whole global economy. After it was all economic uprise and everything was thriving and happy, well, generally speaking. The same happened in 2001, though. With the dot-com bubble burst recession lasting just 8 months, the economy contracted, this recession was caused by a boom followed by a bust in the dot-com bubble business. Part of the boom was caused by companies concerned over the change from 19 to 200. Dates in their computers would change and this got further worse than with the 9-11. Even though recessions are part of a normal cycle, living through them isn't always easy. Knowing the signs of a coming recession can help both investors and non-investors alike take steps to avoid the worst effects, including paid on debt and avoiding speculative investments.